in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. Ephesians 2 verse 21. Through the grace of Christ, you will make decided endeavors to overcome all cold, rough, harsh, uncourteous ways and manners. The mighty cleaver of truth has taken you out of the quarry of the world. You were rough stones with jagged edges, bruising and marring whoever you came in contact with. There is a work to be done to smooth off the rough edges. If you appreciate the value of the work that is being done in the workshop of God, you would welcome the blows of the axe and the hammer. Your self-esteem will be hurt. Your high opinion of yourself will be cut away by the axe and the hammer. And the roughness of your character will be smoothed off. And when self and carnal propensities are worked away, then the stone will assume proper proportions for the heavenly building. And then the polishing, refining, subduing, burnishing process will begin and you will be molded after the model of Christ's character. His own image is to be reflected in the polished character of his human agent, and the stone is to be fitted for the heavenly building. If we are not better men and women, if we are not more kind-hearted, more pitiful, more courteous, more full of tenderness and love, if we do not manifest to others the love that led Jesus to the world on his mission of mercy, we are not witnesses to the world of the power of Jesus Christ. Jesus lived not to please himself. He came to elevate, to ennoble, to make happy all with whom he came in contact. He never did a rude action, never spoke a discourteous word. It is the privilege of every youth to make of his character a beautiful structure. Seek the Lord most earnestly that you may become more and more refined, more spiritually cultured.